Hey, this is Eric here with the Outdoor Retailer Snow Show 2019. I'm down in the sourcing area of the Mile High Ballroom of the Colorado Convention Center. And um, this is a, uh, a company that I've been paying attention to ever since I found out they were coming to the show. Um, I'm really fascinated by this whole field of graphene and its promise as a superconducting battery. But that in mind, there are so many videos online about graphene's potential as a battery. Yet, have you seen a graphene battery yet? I haven't. <laughs> I know that Panasonic's putting one together, but it's an enhanced lithium ion battery, yep. not a true solid state graphene battery that doesn't have. So it's still relying on the old technology, and it's far better, don't get me wrong, it's far better than just a straight up lithium ion battery. But what potentially are the other benefits of this wonder material yes. known as graphene? Um, you know, there, it seems to me like there should be some other ways that this will play out or, or pay off as far as technology goes. Well, to answer that question, I have Matt Reed here from Graph uh, from Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie. And uh, <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about graphene in fiber and graphene in clothing and fabric. And so, Matt, how are you doing, man? We're doing great. Uh, we've had a great show here at uh, Outdoor Retailer and. Uh, and uh, it's been uh, been a lot of interest in graphene. Uh, awesome. So I think people are, on, are at least getting to know the, the term graphene a bit. So, so let's, let's back up. What is graphene? Yeah. Can you yeah. tell us so, what uh, can you yeah. describe it? So true graphene is derived from graphite. And uh, so if you, if you were to look at a chunk of graphite, you were holding it in your hand, uh, you're looking at millions of layers of graphene. Okay. So you have to exfoliate Graphene, graphite down to its most minimal layer, which is termed graphene, but it's a one atom thick, two dimensional material um, that is, you know, these millions of layers that's making up graphite. It's yeah. really hard to imagine a two dimensional material. It is. Like, Yes, and we're I mean, so. We no paper is two dimensional, but it's really not two dimensional. There's a third dimension there, you know. And, yeah, uh, it's so thin, uh, one atom thick. Uh, you know, these 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 nano materials are being termed as two dimensional materials, but yeah, it's very hard to wrap your brain around that. So I think the term I used was lattice work. It looks like lace in a way. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's a hexagonal hexagonal lace. Exactly. That's one millimeter thick and is just perfectly connected all the way through and is, what are some of the properties of graphene that yeah. besides the superconducting and the electrical? Yeah, so you know, that, you know, some of these kind of commonly thought of properties that like, like the electrical conductivity and heat conductivity, that's, that's what got us into R&D research uh, it, within, the, within the parent company that owns us. But we found out graphene has many other properties that are really, really uh, beneficial to textile. Like and what? Such as uh, bacteria reduction, so uh, leading to odor control, such as thermal regulation, uh, sort of a really sort of a weird uh, both cooling and heating type of technology at the same time. Is it a uh, really good conductor of heat? It is a very good conductor of heat. Okay. So, uh, and, and, and you know, outside of textile, for sure, that's what's driven a lot of development is because it's such an effective uh, conductor of heat. Uh, for us, within, uh, within textile, uh, you know, and the yarns that we're making and the amount of graphene that we're combining with the polymer, certainly, uh, you know, heat conductivity shows up but, and thermal regulation, uh, such as uh, adding heat back into the system through far infrared technology. Oh, yeah. What do you mean by yeah. that? Yeah. So far infrared, your 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 body is a very effective uh, emitter of far infrared. Okay. And far infrared radiation is essentially heat uh, okay. when you measure it. Um, so far infrared coming off of your body, if you had a technology such as that was in a in a garment that would, could capture that far infrared radiation mm. and store it mm -hmm. and then emit it back to you when you needed it, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. this is what graphene does. Graphene okay. is an absorber of far infrared radiation and given your body temperature and giving certain humidity levels, it re-emits far infrared back into your system and you can measure it in form of heat. So. Interesting. So, in addition to far infrared and uh, thermal conductivity, 
What are some of the other benefits? Well, bacteria, on? probably uh, bacteria reduction okay. is is probably uh, there's there's others, but of the of the main benefits, I would say that we've mentioned, bacteria reduction is part of that. Uh, so what bacteria reduction leads to in garments, uh, just in standard sportswear, active wear, or outdoor gear, or socks, mm -hmm. these kind of things, leads to odor control. So yeah. if you can kill the bacteria, keep the stink you down. keep the stink down. Exactly. What, uh, one of the things I've heard mentioned a lot, and it seems to me like it would be kind of high up there on the list, is abrasion, uh, resistance to abrasion. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what we found out, uh, like one of our first commercial successes has been in the industrial glove business. Okay. Uh, so our licensee within that, within that segment of the business, uh, certainly abrasion uh, and durability and abrasion testing is, is a big factor in industrial gloves. So do you find your gloves last long? We do. Uh, this, you know, we, we, it certainly shows up in, a, in laboratory testing, like mm -hmm. a Martindale or Tabor device type sure. testing. But the real true application is when the glove gets on the hand and it's, and it's out on the construction site or it's in the plant right. and it's being used in these applications. And what we're seeing from our, from our glove licensee is they're saying, you know, a, a nylon glove versus a graphene nylon glove made in the same way, mm -hmm. same, same design, mm -hmm. is lasting double. Wow. So, um, There's not much yeah. you can think of that's more environmental than making products last twice as long. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's two sides to that. They like to sell gloves, yeah. but, it, but the user also, you know, it's a cost savings for them. Sure. And it's, and it's most definitely uh, an echo type of savings too, because you're not, you're not you know, having to uh, dispose of as many gloves into, back into the system. So. Interesting. So the last thing I can think of was the, uh, as far as graphene is concerned, uh, there's one other property, uh, UPF. Yeah, UPF. I, I would say uh, that's one of the one of the you know main benefits also. But uh, what we're finding out is uh, you know uh, thinner garments, uh, but showing higher UPF ratings. And these UPF ratings are permanent mm -hmm. because of what we're doing. I mean, we're combining a graphene material with the polymer at a molecular level, yeah. and then extruding. So it becomes a permanent uh, solution. So UPF. Uh, is permanent, unlike many other uh, sure. any other uh, solutions. Yeah. Well, and you, if you look at SPF, uh, the top numbers you'll ever see for SPF are under 100. They're yeah. Like 50. You know, 50, 50 maybe is a excellent. Higher. Yeah. But the numbers you're showing for UPF are between 100 and 500. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing uh, like uh, you know very thin active wear type of garments, uh, like a, a fishing shirt type of sure. garment, sure. you know, showing well over 100 UPF. And this is uh, this is a permanent uh, UPF rating that will w that will be with the garment for the life of the garment. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. this this fiber is ready to be woven into fabric. And yeah, ready to go. absolutely. We're we're commercial with uh, with nylon graphene, with uh, viscose graphene, okay. with uh, ultra high molecular weight graphene, uh, uh, PE graphene, yeah. and with uh, polyester graphene. So viscose yeah. graphene, right? That's uh, bamboo graphene, right? Yeah, I mean or it's a cellulose. It can be. It's a you can use different cellulose material yeah, to, yeah. to to make a polymer. But it's a cellulose based. Rayon, basically. It, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. Matt, it's been great spending time with you talking about this. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're a product developer, uh, designer, or whatnot, uh, and you know you you want to get some fabric in your hands that has these has these properties that you're looking for. Absolutely. One of the easy ways to do it is to go with the fiber that you guys have. Absolutely. But a little Correct. bit more complicated way, if they want to develop their own fiber with their own properties, their own design. Yes. Is to come to you and yeah, we can we can uh, we can help coordinate. Uh, if you you know we we also make this fiber in a staple form. Okay. So you can. So uh, it's a monofilament and then you yeah, have a exactly. You, a you got knit. we've got continuous filament and we've got staple. Okay. So staple you can dream whatever you can dream up you can you can make sure, from there. Sure. Yeah. All right. So if people want to work with you and they want to know more about like what's involved in getting some of this fabric made for them, yep. what's the next step for them? Yeah. So just contact me directly. You can email me. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll provide the email for you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time, Matt. Eric. Thank you. Love All you. right. All right. Thanks. All right.